Good morning. We have been studying a book of poetry, specifically the Psalms. The uniqueness of poetry is that it's a place where we can begin to apply what we know about God from our day-to-day -day standpoint. See, poetry is an opportunity to not be limited by one sentence, but it's this freedom to be able to express and be creative on how you want to talk or speak about God. We see this all throughout the psalm. We see a psalmist that will describe the highs and lows, their joys and sorrows, and more specifically, how to pray. Well, this morning is no different when we look at Psalm 61. Won't you join me? Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. See, David was someone, when we think of David, we think of somebody very close to God. He was anointed by God's prophet, right in the house of Jesse, among all of his brothers. He had many victories in, in, in his lifetime in God's name. But he begins this psalm with a cry out to God. And cry is translated this, this piercing scream. It's, 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 a, it's from the depths of your lung where you cry out in stress, um, or it could be in great victory, but here we see it in stress. And he's saying, listen, pay attention to my prayer. And David goes on in verse two, from the ends of the earth, I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. See, commentaries kind of go back and forth of, is David speaking to the lands that he just doesn't, he's crying out his prayer to lands far, far away, or maybe he's speaking that he is in the, he feels like he's in the ends of the earth because he's not in his home, his own comfort. When we are in distress, we want to be comforted with those places that are familiar to us, maybe even in our own bedroom. And he says, I call as my heart grows faint. And another translation, my heart is overwhelmed. This is where David just can't take it anymore. He's crying out, he's screaming from the gut of his lungs in pain. He can't take it anymore. Have you ever found yourself there? Well, David doesn't stop there. The next verse, he says, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. See, David understands that our ends, when we are just at our wits ends, is where God's work can begin. And so he's saying, lead me, take me to a place that I cannot go myself. I need you to carry me to the place that is higher than I. And he'll go on in verse three. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. See, David moves from this um, distance of God and he moves to this closeness, to the center of God's dwelling, right? He's gonna use metaphors, which is just a way for us to use our spiritual imagination in the words that David is using here. He says that you have been my refuge. And we've, we've explored that word many times through the song, that protection, a strong tower against foes. A strong tower was this mighty structure and standing next to it, you would have felt very small. It would have been an anchor in the walls of a city, right? The tower was the anchor. And it also was a place where surveillance would take place. You know, they could look over. And there was many functions to that. And David's using that, that metaphor for us. He talks about your tent, dwelling in your tent forever. The tabernacle, the place where God dwells. David longs for that, that, that um, spiritual hospitality. <laughs> and he goes on even further, the refuge and the shelter of your wings. Can you just picture a mama bird with her little birdies underneath her wing? That great parental protection, right? That, that intimacy that you have. That's where David is now uh, crying out from and he's picturing, right? He dwells, he longs for that. And then he concludes this Psalm in verse eight. Then I will ever sing and praise of your name and fulfill my vows day after day. See, the Psalm begins with a scream and it ends with a praise. 
we have a lot of overwhelming situations which are very heavy on our hearts. So may we, like we saw David, scream out to God, but then trust in Him. We may feel distance at times, but may we get back to the center of who God is and be in His dwelling place, right? That we can trust that God really is close. Remembering that He is the rock which is higher than I, may He lead us to that place.